Jesus gave us the life of God. It's called eternal life. Eternal life is God producing himself in us. Acts chapter 10 and verse 27. Behold, I give you eternal life. You shall never perish. Never. Let the witches do their worst. You will never perish. And no man will pluck you out of the hand of God. He said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Next verse. And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. I give them eternal life. And that life makes it impossible for them to perish. Lift up your hands and say, I can never perish. I can never perish. I can hear you shouting louder. I can never perish. Shouting louder. I can never perish. So the coming of Christ is to reveal God to us. And one of the ways he unveiled God to us by giving us the very life that God himself has. Message translation. I give them real and eternal life. They are protected from the destroyer for good. No one can steal them out of my hand. Protected. Give me the new living Bible. Uh, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them away from my hand. The next verse said, The Father which gave them to me is greater than I. The Father who gave them to me is more powerful than anyone else. No one can snatch them from the Father's hand. From the Father's hand. From the Father's hand. Throw your hand towards this altar. I pray for somebody. It doesn't matter the forces that are against you from your father's altar from the altar of your mother you are indestructible you are unkillable you are undiable when they invoke you in the shrine fire will answer when they call your name before Sangoma and before every Alpha, before Marabots and before enchanters and necromancer, they shall not prosper. Amen. Lift up your hands, shout, I will, perish. I will never perish. Say, I will never perish. I will never perish. Say, the materials I am made up of the materials I am made is up. a material that can never perish. It's a material that can never perish. Ah. Can I shock you, sir? The purpose of internal life, this life of God giving it to us, is so that we can be preserved from death. Death. That is why the believer can't die like that. John 11, 24. Say, let me tell you, sir. Any believer you see die by accident, check. He has, he has despised warnings and directions. Or there are forces let loose, he refused. Even Paul, when he was going to die in Jerusalem, Agabus carry a belt and tie his hand. He said, So shall the, this, the owner of this belt be taken captive into Jerusalem. Paul had the, mind, the, the, the right to change his mind. But Paul said, Why do you break my heart? I'm not only going to Jerusalem to, die, uh, to, be, to, be, to be imprisoned, but I am ready to die. So, hear me, sir. Paul willingly. He saw it. So for a believer to die like that, sir, you must take, you must give yourself, you must permit death. Because this life you have is not an ordinary life. It's the life of God himself. Jesus came to give you God. He came to give you God. He came so that you can resemble God. And function in the class of God. Otherwise, the coming of Jesus is a waste. Give me small poison. You're putting like said like chicken. No, 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 no. Look at look at John 11, verse 24 to 26. Martha said unto him, I know that you shall rise in the resurrection at the last day. Talking about Lazarus. But he had the reply of Jesus. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection. I am the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? You will never die. Believest thou this? Yes, 
you will never die. <laughs> so, does believer die? We only use death as Uber to move from one destination to another. When you are tired of this life, you are ready to go. Just the way you call Uber, you call death. Death, I want to go and be with Jesus now. Come by 11 o'clock because by 9, 10, I'll be greeting the family members to tell them bye-bye. So by 9, 10, you greet everybody, pray for everybody, bless everybody. By 11, you say, death, are you here? Say yes. Now take me to go to be with Jesus. And then you move. So for a believer, death is an Uber. And you decide when to go. Death does not decide where you should go. 